Mr. Speaker, it's time to take real steps to end gun violence in Canada. 30 years after the Montreal massacre, the worst mass murder in Canadian history, politicians are still struggling to end gun violence. The gun that Mark Le Pen used to kill 14 women at Ecole Polytechnique is still legal to own in Canada. And I do not believe in a world or in a country where, um, where we need guns to defend ourselves. Nathalie Prevost was shot four times by Lapin during the attack 30 years ago. She's part of a group calling for stricter gun controls. Thoughts and prayers won't stop another tra 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 tragedy. While paying tribute to the victims of the Polytechnic shooting in the House of Commons, Trudeau promised to take action. We will strengthen gun laws and ban the types of weapons, the type of weapons used at École Polytechnique. Trudeau didn't say how or when his government will ban these types of weapons. Compare Canada's response to New Zealand, which banned most types of semi-automatic guns following the mosque attacks that killed 51 people. That includes the Ruger 14 that was used in the Polytechnic shootings. Banning guns is a divisive issue in Canada, often pitting victims and families against gun lobbyists. One gun lobby guy, of course, they, they will say anything, you know, the gun that was used at the Polytechnique, he says, oh, it's just a vermin, vermin gun. And Nathalie Provo answered him right back and she said, listen, 30 years ago when I was shot, I was not vermin and neither were any of us. In Ottawa, Nigel Newlove, City News.